Good morning. Prayers for healing. Jeremiah 17, verse 14. Heal me, Lord, and I will be healed. Save me, and I will be saved. For you are the one I praise. You see, you can say Bible scripture for prayers. A cry for healing is among our most urgent prayers. When we are in pain, we can turn to God, to the great physician, Jesus Christ, for healing. It doesn't matter whether we need help in our body or our spirit. God has the power to make us better. The Bible offers many verses we can incorporate into our prayers for healing. Lord my God, I called to you for help and you healed me. Psalm 30, verse 2. The Lord sustains them on, on their sick bed and restores them from their bed of illness. Psalms 41, verse 3. During his earthly ministry, Jesus Christ said many prayers for healing miraculously, causing the sick to recover. Here are just a few of those episodes. Jesus went to the centurion replied, Lord, I do not deserve to have you come under my roof, but just say the word, and my servant will be healed. Matthew 8, verse 8. Jesus went through all the towns and villages, teaching in their synagogues, proclaiming the good news of the kingdom and healing every disease and sickness. Matthew 9, verse 35. He said to her, Daughter, your faith has healed you. Go in peace and be free from your suffering. Mark 5, verse 34. But the crowds learned about it and followed him. He welcomed them and spoke to them about the kingdom of God and healed those who needed healing. Luke 9, verse 11. Today our Lord continues to pour out his healing. Bomb, when we pray for the sick and their prayer offered in faith will heal the sick. And the Lord will make them well. And anyone who has committed sins will be forgiven. Confess your sins to each other and pray for each other so that you may be healed. The earnest prayer of a righteous person has great power and wonderful results. That's in James 5, verse 15 through 18. If there's someone you know who needs God's healing touch, do you wish to say a prayer? For a sick friend or a family member. Lift them up to the great physician. The Lord Jesus Christ with these healing prayers and Bible verses. Here's a prayer for healing for the sick. Dear Lord of mercy and Father of comfort. You are the one I turn to help. To for help in the moment of weak, wicked, uh, weakness and times of need. I ask you to be with your servant in this illness. Psalms 107 verse 20 says that you send out your word and heal. So then please send your healing word to your servant in the name of Jesus. Drive out all infirmity and sickness from his body. Dear Lord, I ask you to turn this weakness into strength, this suffering into compassion, sorrow into joy, and pain into comfort for others. May your servant Trust in your goodness and hope in your faithfulness, even in the middle of the suffering. Let him be filled with patience and joy in your presence as he waits for your healing touch. Please restore your servant to full health, dear Father. Remove all fear and doubt from his heart by the power of the, your Holy Spirit. And may you, Lord, be glorified through his life as you heal and renew your servant, Lord, may be blessed, may he be blessed and praise you. All of this I pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And here's one for spiritual healing. Even more critical than physical healing, we humans are in need of spiritual healing. Spiritual healing comes when we are made whole or born again through accepting God's forgiveness. And receiving salvation in Jesus Christ. Here are verses about spiritual healing 
to include in your prayers. Heal me, Lord, and I will be healed. Save me, and I will be saved, for you are the one I praise. Jeremiah 7, verse 14. But he was pierced for our transgressions. He was crushed for our iniquities. The punishment that brought us peace was on him, and by his wounds we are healed. Isaiah 53, verse 5. I will heal their waywardness and love them freely, for my anger has turned away from them. Hosea 14, verse 4. And then there's emotional healing. Another type of healing we can pray it for is emotional or healing of the soul. Because we live in a fallen world with imperfect people, emotional wounds are, are inevitable, inevitable, but God offers healings from those scars. He heals the broken heart and binds up their wounds. Psalms 147 verse 3. Thank you, Lord. Now we're going to listen to a video about prayer, I think. I don't know where it took me. All right, maybe I need to go back. That's not where I'm supposed to go. They took me to commercial. No. That is not a prayer. Uh, Watching out the best ones. This is not It's got an ad It's showing an ad first I think I don't want to see the ads I want See this is not No Hi, I'm Tim Coons, co-pastor of Trinity Presbyterian Church in Scotia, New York, and a member of the Network of Biblical Storytellers. To learn more about its mission, go to nbsint.org. Okay, that's not what I was looking for. Sorry about that. Oh, okay, how to, how to effectively pray for the sick. going to heal her, all right? So we're, we're just, it's easy because we're, we're just flying with him, amen? Okay. So what we could do is start with a question. Do you believe that Jesus, because we're just doing this as an example, all right? Do you believe that Jesus can heal you? Yes. Okay. I think that's a, a good question because 
it encourages a basic faith in the person, even if they're not a Christian. Oh, yeah, well, Jesus, yeah, he could do it, yeah. So immediately, when they say yes, it's a beginning, all right? So then do you think you can go one step further and, and believe that Jesus would heal you right now? Yes, please. <laughs> yes, please. Amen. Amen. Like, um, yes, please, Praise I want some dinner. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. Keep your head up. There you go. You're doing fine. All right. So now Jesus Christ is standing before you, and uh, you may see him or you may feel his power. You, so um, I'm not telling you what to say. I'm just saying what could happen. So, um, Sister, do you feel the Lord or do you see him or anything like that? Right, so she's feeling a heat on her head, all right? Now, we haven't started praying, have we? All right? But the very fact that she confessed her faith in Jesus Christ and she's coming to him, the anointing of Jesus Christ is already healing her. All right? So I could go and sit down and she would be healed. All right? So that makes it a lot easier, doesn't it? Doesn't it? All right? So that you're feeling that heat now in your head. Yes. Hmm? You feel that heat in your head now? Yes. Praise God. So now what I'll get you to do just to participate. Uh, now you can reach out your hand. All right? So everyone reach out their hand, okay? Now when you speak, let the words come from heaven, from, your, from heaven, from your heart if that makes any sense. Let your words come from heaven. It's, it's not the words from your mouth, the words from your mind, but the words from your heart. So I feel a quickening of the spirit, so I get on with it, Mark. So I want you to say, in Jesus' name. Now say it again from your heart, in Jesus' name. I want you to look at her head as if you're speaking to the head and it's hearing you. Be healed. All right. Jesus rules by his word. Sometimes his word is spoken. That's another message. Jesus rules by his word and everything can hear the word of Christ. All right. So I believe you're, you're okay now. So you want to stand up for a moment? So how are you going? The heat is gone. So I believe you're fixed now in Jesus' name. Amen? Amen. So let's give Jesus a clap, shall we? Amen? So um, if I had a lady around, I'd say, oh, you'll do. Come, come. Would you mind just giving her a hug? There you go. Sometimes the Holy Spirit, just, you can sit down. Sometimes the Holy Spirit um, wants a person to have a hug or just to feel his love, all right? Other, I remember the other week, the, someone was, you know, in this situation, was praying for someone, and they started giving them a hug. And I said, don't do that. It's like, ooh, and she stepped away. And the lady said, oh, thank you so much. I really didn't want that hug. I don't like hugs. <laughs> so we can do things in the natural. That, all right. So now that you've been healed, let's say she was a non-Christian. Now that you've been healed, do you know who healed you? Jesus Christ. Okay, Jesus Christ healed you. He healed you so that you will follow him. Would you be willing to walk with him now? Yes. Amen. Now, if she was a non-Christian, I might invite her to give her life to Christ and say the sinner's prayer. All right? Okay? Yeah. Praise God. You can have a seat. Thank you. Bless you. Give her a hand. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus.